we are trying to write an equation for parabola that goes through these three points. Now this problem is a great problem because it really brings together uh, systems, what we know about parabolas, and, uh, and all the arithmetic that work that we've been doing, algebra work, I should say. So first off, let me think about parabolas. Uh, parabolas are generally written in the form uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We're used to that. We, we pull the a, b, and c parts for the quadratic formula. This is just the way it is. So a, b, and c are parameters. So what we want to find is those values. What are a, what are b, and what are c? So in a, I hope you can see that this is pushing towards the system already. Now what we have is four pieces of information, um, right? An answer, a term, a term, a term. We're going to need three equations. And each of these points will give us an equation. Points come in the form x, y. And this is important to remember. So this is saying when x is 2, y must be 7. So let me plug this in. When, seven is, when y is 7, not a, but x is 2. And I can do that with each of these three points. When y is 14, uh, b is 3, and not b, x is 3. And be careful about that. You don't want to put it in the B spot. It's an X. When X is 5, when Y is 40, and these are times 5 squared plus B times 5 plus C. And now if I do a little bit of arithmetic here, uh, like 2 squared is 4, right? So this is 4A plus 2B plus C equals 7. 3 squared is 9, so this is 9A plus 3B plus C is 14. And you can see the system start to take shape. 5 squared is 25. 25a plus 5 times b plus c equals 40. And this is, uh, this could be an exercise on its own. Solve this system. Great. So let's solve that system then. We have what we've been calling a 3 by 4, three equations, four pieces of information. Uh, so what we're going to do is eliminate one of the variables. And C, to me, looks ripe for uh, elimination. So let's do it. So I've got equation one, equation two, equation three. How about uh, I just go, one of my things would be equation two minus equation one. And another one will be, how about uh, equation three minus equation two? Doesn't really matter, but that's what I'm going to use. Uh, equation 2 minus equation 1. So, so 9a minus 4a is 5a. 3b minus b is 1b. c minus c goes away, which is what I wanted to happen. Then I have 14 minus 7 is 7. Let's do the next one, e3 minus e2. So 25 uh, minus 9, that's 16. 5b minus 3b, that's 2b. 40 minus 14, that's 26. Okay, that's good. Great. Uh, now, notice what we've done. We've taken uh, what we're calling a 3 by 4, reduced it to 2 by 3, right? Reduced the complexity. And then now let's solve what we have left here. Uh, that's a 2B. I'm going to multiply this one by 2, this whole equation. And hopefully, hopefully you're seeing why I'm doing that. Leave that bottom one as it is. That's why I did it right there. So those two Bs match. Now I can do that subtraction, and I think I'll just subtract the top one from the from the bottom one. So 16 minus 10 is is 6a. B's go, which I wanted to happen. Uh, 26 minus 14, ding, is 12. Okay, so I know that a must be 2. So if a is 2, let's plug it back into this equation. Any equation that we that we want to use, we can just use one where we only have two uh, variables in it. So it looks like b must be negative three. When a is two and b is negative three, let's grab. Whoa, hello. Let's grab this equation: four a two four two one seven. So a is two. B is negative 3, and we want to find C, so 8 minus 6 plus C, 7, 8 minus 6, minus 2, subtract the C, and it looks like C is 5. So I found A, B, and C, but what I'm looking for is the 
equation, right, that's in this form. So let's see, A is 2. B is negative 3. C is 5. There's my equation. And I can check it lots of ways. I can shove it into Desmos. I can shove it into my calculator. And uh, I could take some of these values. Like, let's say, looking at my original points, uh, 2, 7 is supposed to be one of my points. So if I go 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2, right, I'm just letting x be 2, uh, plus 5. It should spit out 7. Yes, and I can check my other three points if I wanted as well. So take a look. Remember, strategy here is write our system with the x and y's plugged in, giving us three equations. Reduce those three equations to two equations. Reduce those two equations to one equation. And then back, back solve to get the other points. And then we can just write our equation like that.